What is going on friends and welcome back to the Minecraft Hub channel. Today we are on episode 2 of Zetacraft season 3 and right here I want to show you guys this because I don't think I told you about it in the last episode but we have the gravestones data pack turned on just to give ourselves a little bit of forgiveness when we die in this world. You can basically fall off and lose all your stuff and there's constantly mobs spawning, spawning underneath the islands. So we wanted to make it just a little more forgiving to actually get around and do all this. Now I came down here to get some lava and we're heading back up to our island because we are working on an iron farm to start off this episode. We need a lot of iron for all the projects that we're gonna be doing. So we're just gonna go ahead and get one built up so we don't have to be constantly buying iron from the shopping district, which hopefully we'll get a go tour later on in this episode. So let's cut to a quick time lapse to get this iron farm built up and then we'll keep working on the rest of our base. Alright, so we've got the main structure of this iron farm built up. I'm just going ahead, I'm placing in the last villagers here. Uh, we can see I've got this whole rail system built up to get all the villagers up here. After that, we'll have to go ahead, place in uh, the zombie track and all that. Can't believe I just hit that. But we're going to go ahead, get these last villagers in. We'll go ahead, put the zombie in after, and we should be all good to go. So far, this has been going really smoothly. Every time I work with villagers before, it's usually terrible, but see, just like that. Villager hopped right in the minecart, and that's basically how this whole project has been going. It's been going so smoothly, and I'm really happy about it. But we're going to go ahead, get in these last couple villagers, uh, and then we'll get that zombie track built up right after. All right, last villager going in. Should walk straight in, perfect. Minecart landed right where we wanted it, and that's that's it. We've got all the villagers in now. Just gotta go ahead and get the zombie put in. All right, so the iron farm is almost complete, but huge news is the nether is finally being connected up. We're putting pathways between all the portals. This is mainly led by Geek Squeak Geek. Went ahead, connect up my portal. Uh, got me connected to, I think, about five or six other bases so far. He's laid down, I think, he said 4,000 of that black stained glass. So I'm just going around kind of touring some bases right now, uh, but we finally have a way to get around everywhere in this world so far. So far, I haven't had any issues with these gas. I don't even have a sword or shield on me, so if they did start firing at me, I'd probably be in trouble, uh, but they haven't started firing on me yet, so should be all good to go. We can just go up this way, that portal that we're looking at right there is Megateca's base, and then mine is just down the road from that one. Look at this iron farm, working perfectly. I'm just going ahead, testing each of these quadrants to make sure the iron golems are spawning here. Zombie went through, just spawned that one. We'll go ahead and check this one now. Took a second there, but we got an iron golem spawn in there, and now this last one, perfect. All right, so each of these is now spawning iron golems, which means we are getting a lot of iron and a lot of roses. So we'll have to find a system to go ahead and start turning those roses into bone meal. Haven't done that yet, but I did get a storage system built up and we are producing iron uh, very, very quickly. So that is perfect. This design is by Nimbon. Nimbon is great at designing farms. This one works so well. I've used it through the last I think four or five updates of Minecraft and it works perfectly. I'll go ahead and link the tutorial down in the description below. And then of course, I just filled it up with these villagers that we built uh, in the last episode. So I'm kind of working on a little industrial area here underground. I've got some vines planted because we're going to be needing a lot of vines to make uh, different mossy blocks like these stone bricks and cobblestone. And then of course we're just going to need vines to cover up, especially since we're going for that decayed look this season. I've also got uh, a little lava farm here and a super smelter so I can get lots of stone because we don't have silk touch or anything yet and it's always useful having it. My nether portal's right here, and then this is the area that I've kind of been working on for the last 
about half hour or so. I'm trying to make a kind of sewer system that's coming out at this village right here. It'll connect up where my starter base is because uh, we're going to build a castle, a decayed castle in that area. And this sewer system is going to connect the entire area underground and lead to things like the dungeons and things like that of the castle that we're going to work on. The castle is probably what we're going to work on in the next episode, just trying to get uh, the outer walls built up so we have an idea of the space we're working with in there. So that should be really, really cool. It'll be just over on that hill there. And then the entire thing is going to be connected underground. We'll have the dungeons, this sewer system, and the sewer system will break off into other areas. Also, I've got diamond armor now. Shout out to Geeksweek for that. He totally hooked me up with some diamond armor that he was able to find while raiding in the end dimension. So now we don't have to worry about that, but we do need to worry about getting an elytra. Now, the elytras are being sold in the shopping district for, I believe, 28 diamonds. So we definitely need to get, it looks like, six more diamonds, and then we should be able to head over there. Also, this iron farm has been working the entire time that I've been down there, and it's produced, looks like, about three stacks of iron blocks, or over that already. So we are definitely going to have plenty of iron to make a shop pretty soon as well. Came back over to the little industrial area in the sewer here and just built this up really quickly. This is just going to automatically turn my roses into bone meal and throw all that in a chest so we don't have to worry about it at all. It is a little bit away so it's going to be kind of annoying moving those roses back and forth. I should probably build it just directly under the iron farm but we'll worry about setting that up later because I don't really have much space down there right now and I don't want to excavate it just quite yet. All right, so I think the next order of business that we really need to get done is we need to enchant some stuff. Luckily for enchanting, somebody has already built up a Enderman spawner in the end dimension. Now, I haven't been to the end dimension yet, but I think I've got the coordinates to go ahead and find that portal. So we're going to hop into the nether here. I'll have to harvest. Oh, we'll harvest this up right now. We'll hop into the nether here, go check out the end dimension, and take care of getting our stuff all enchanted. Now I grabbed some lapis already because we will need that. The Enderman farm, fortunately though, is free to use. I believe Diosil is the one who built it, but I'll verify that. Uh, but yeah, we'll go ahead, get everything enchanted, and then hopefully go and check out the shopping district and see what's been built over there already and what we can do this season to make some diamonds. Also. If you haven't seen, this is my portal right here. If you haven't seen before the difference of the nether with and without shaders, I think it's really important for a lot of people to see because it is crazy. This is with the complimentary shaders on. Turn them off, can't see anything. You can barely see that there's uh, that bastion down there, but it is so hard to see anything outside of the, the normal range. Shaders in the nether are almost essential with the way that we have the world generation on right now. So if I've got my coordinates right, this should be the shopping district portal. It looks like there's a couple hanging signs, so I guess we'll be able to confirm that here. Perfect. So I think the nether or the end portal is still that way. We'll go check that out after. Uh, but I do want to pop in here and see what's going on. So we've got bamboozled. Of course, a bamboo shop over here. Jungly bites. Ooh, golden carrots. That's actually really good to know. Free cookies with every buy too. Over here, let's see. Good looks armor trims. Oh, we got an armor trim shop. And they're using the uh, the clay pots too. Vex and Wild. And we do have the Wild Armor Trim that Geek gave us already. Uh, so we can duplicate that and use that on our armor when we do want to do the armor trims. But it looks like, yeah, we're able to find a lot of the armor trims here. So we'll definitely get ourselves decked out sometime here soon, but we're gonna need a lot more diamonds before we're able to do anything like that. So we definitely need to get a shop of our own set up. What do we got here on the end? Ooh, a bookshop. Infinity, Silk Touch. How much is a Silk Touch? One book for two diamonds. Okay, so that's not bad at all. Three books for five diamonds. Mending, Unbreaking. Yeah, we'll definitely be hitting this shop. 
but we'll do some initial enchanting in the, the end dimension before we start working on that. And then over here, we got here, some type of rocket we got here. Oh, well, this is the launch pad, so that suddenly makes a lot of sense. And this is where we're gonna be able to buy like a shulker box of rockets. 28 diamonds each for an elytra, which they've got in here. We'll be buying one of those pretty soon. 45 diamonds for a shulker box of tier three. Wow. So yeah, we're gonna need a lot of diamonds before we're able to start hitting this stuff. Over here, shulker boxes. Two diamonds each for a shulker box. Definitely be hitting that shulker 10 pack for 18 diamonds. Okay, so yeah, we can save some money there. And what do we got here? Oh, I like the giant grindstone. Uh, but oh, yeah, we got a whole a whole target system set up here. So that'll be a fun little game to play. One diamond per stack of iron, I believe. You just have to pick up one of these bows, grab an arrow, and hit the target, and then you'll get your stack of iron. Free stack of iron ingots if you get the bullseye advancement and do you have to get out there jump your way out there over the void it looks like there's somebody to set your bed to uh yes so we'll definitely we'll wait till we have an elytra before we do that all right so i believe the end portal these are about the cords for it. It should be somewhere down there. There we go. Took a little bit of traversing to find it. Apparently there was one of these I could have just climbed. But we made it. Well, first time in the end dimension. I'm honestly really happy that I don't have to do much exploring of the end dimension do that in every world and finally this season I can just go ahead and buy some stuff enter the end dimension only use the uh, enderman farm that we've got out here so I'll just really quickly get these XP levels up I think there's an enchantment table here already full setup so we'll go ahead and get all of our stuff enchanted and then we can head on out of here and go get some diamonds we are fully enchanted up now we've got fortune 3 pickaxe efficiency 4 axe Efficiency 4 Shovel, Looting 2, Sharpness 3, Unbreaking 3, Sword. So we are all set. Now we're gonna go run, grab some more diamonds. I've marked out some locations of diamonds near my base, and then we'll use those to buy ourselves an elytra over at the shopping district. Shout out to Diosil for putting this whole thing together, including an enchantment room at the back of it. So useful, especially this early in the season to get all those XP levels and be able to get everything enchanted up so quickly. Well, went to go mine some diamonds and ended up happening upon a zombie spawner down here. I gotta say, I think that's even more rare considering our, our world generation. So this actually might be a fairly useful farm. That's on the enchantment. Oh! All right, so we've got over a stack of diamonds and a lot of other stuff now. We're gonna go ahead, grab all of our stuff, and head back to the shopping district. All right, so we just hit the shopping district, got our elytra, spent 25 diamonds on some flight duration two rockets with a shulker box. Uh, so definitely some steep prices out here at the beginning of the season but we've got what we needed now. This will last us quite a while and we get a shulker box out of it, which is super nice. I definitely need to make an ender chest and I'm actually gonna grab uh, some books over here so we can get our stuff a little more upgraded. So it's three books for five diamonds. Uh, we're definitely gonna want some mending. Um, let's just put our five in here and we'll grab some other stuff. We're gonna need a silk touch. We'll grab that. And let's just, we're gonna deck out uh, a new pickaxe. We're, you know what? We're just gonna grab some more mending as well. Another five. And we'll take these last three mending books. Those are gonna be super useful. We'll throw them on our shovel, probably our sword, and 
our other pickaxe and that should set us all up um i'm assuming those are for decoration i won't break the anvils here especially since i have way too much iron for myself so i'll just make an anvil back at the base and we'll get these books put on but that's gonna about gonna wrap up this episode for today we did a lot we've got an iron farm built up we've got new sewer system started off which is going to connect up a lot of our base we've actually got to tour a lot of the server now uh, we were pretty cut off before but now that we've got the nether portal and finally this elytra we're going to be much more connected to the other zetas so we'll probably do some base tours in the next episode just to check out what everybody's got going on and i think in the next episode we got to get a shop put up as well I'm not really too sure what yet of course i'd love to sell some iron but there is already an iron shop uh, so we'll see about that but we do have access to villagers and getting all of those bred up uh, so we can start doing some villager trading. So I'm going to take a look around, see what exactly the server is going to need, and then we'll decide from there and build our shop up in the next episode. Anyways, guys, that's about going to wrap us up for today. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.